Eight Codamundus facts that will blow your mind. Forget the filtered photos and misleading captions. Cody's, those adorable raccoon mask bandits with the fuzzy tails, might seem like the perfect quirky pet. But hold on to your hats, or should we say parkas, because there's more to this story than meets the eye. Sure, baby Cody's are undeniably cute and playful, but imagine a mischievous toddler with razor sharp claws and an endless supply of energy. That's kind of what you're signing up for. These intelligent creatures are natural explorers and their curiosity can lead to some serious house redecorating projects of the unintended variety. Think ripped furniture, toppled plants, and a never ending quest to find anything remotely chewable. Here's the thing, codas are built for the wild, not your living room. Their long bodies and sharp claws are perfect for climbing trees and tearing through undergrowth, not navigating your furniture maze. While a spacious enclosure can provide them with room to roam, it can't truly replicate the freedom of their rainforest home. So before you get swept away by the Kawadi cuteness, do your research. Understanding their needs and wild instincts is crucial. Coates might not be the perfect house pet, but that doesn't mean they're not amazing creatures. Their intelligence, curiosity, and unique adaptations make them an important part of the rainforest ecosystem. And to that, we present you with eight facts to ponder on. Dare to dream wild, folks. This is legalized exotic pets, where we make the impossible possible. Hey, Possumi viewers, Hold your horses for a sec. Before we bolt into the next segment, I gotta ask a favor from my favorite pack, the subscribers. We're wagging our virtual tails with all the new faces joining the channel every day, but the more the merrier, right? So if this video had you howling with laughter or barking with excitement, then smash that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. It helps us sniff out even more amazing content to bring right to where you are. Now, where were we? Of course, eight Cotamundus facts that will blow your mind. Have you ever seen a creature with a raccoon mask, a long swishy tail, and a permanently curious nose? Meet the Quadi, a South American sweetie also known as the Cotamundi. These aren't your typical raccoons. They're actually related to kinkajous and have four wild cousins, though only two, the white-nosed and South American coatis, are sometimes kept as pets. Coatis are a whirlwind of energy and curiosity. Imagine a furry explorer with a never-ending appetite. That's what you're looking at. As omnivores, they forage for food in the wild using their super sniffer, that long fancy nose, to find everything from insects and fruits to small animals. While some people are drawn to their playful spirit, Cody's are not ideal house pets. Their wild instincts and love of exploration can lead to mischief and mayhem indoors. Before you get hooked on those Kawadi close-ups online, remember these fascinating creatures belong in the rainforest, not your living room. They can live up to 14 years, and wouldn't you want them to spend those years exploring their natural habitat? Eight shocking facts about Coatamundis that will make you rethink owning one. Sniffing specialists. Those adorable raccoon-like masks hide a powerful secret weapon, a super sniffer. A Cody's long, flexible nose called a snout is packed with over 400 million scent receptors. That's almost 100 times more than a human. In the wild, this amazing nose helps them unearth hidden insects, grubs, and fruits in the rainforest litter. But for pet owners, this translates to a master escape artist with a talent for finding the tiniest hole or weakness in their enclosure. Keeping a Cody contained requires a near fortress environment, something most homes simply can't provide. Treetop troublemakers. 
Forget cozy cuddles on the couch. Cody's are built for life in the trees. Their long, agile bodies and sharp claws are perfect for scaling branches and navigating the rainforest canopy. A house simply can't replicate the freedom of movement they crave. While some owners create elaborate enclosures, these can never truly replace the vastness of their natural habitat. Keeping a koadi cooped up can lead to frustration, destructive behavior, and even health problems. Mischievous munchers. A Cody's natural curiosity often leads them down a path of destruction, especially indoors. Their long snouts and sharp claws are perfect for digging, foraging, and well, chewing on anything they can get their paws on. Electrical cords, furniture legs, and even house plants become potential chew toys for these curious creatures. Coati proofing your home is nearly impossible and the stress of constant vigilance can be overwhelming for both pet and owner. Hey, possum viewers, hold your horses for a sec. Before we bolt into the next segment, I gotta ask a favor from my favorite pack, the subscribers. We're wagging our virtual tails with all the new faces joining the channel every day, but the more the merrier, right? So if this video had you howling with laughter or barking with excitement, then smash that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. It helps us sniff out even more amazing content to bring right to where you are. Now, where were we? Of course. Three more facts. Social butterflies. Coatis are highly social animals who live in groups of up to 30 individuals. They thrive on interaction and spend their days playing, foraging, and communicating with each other. A single coati kept as a pet can become lonely and withdrawn without the companionship of their own kind. Providing them with a social outlet is difficult and forcing them to interact with other pets can be risky. Rainforest Rascals Coatis play an important role in the rainforest ecosystem. Their digging helps disperse seeds, and their diet controls insect and small animal populations. Taking a coati away from its natural habitat disrupts this delicate balance. Responsible pet ownership means understanding the impact on the environment. And with coatis, it's simply not ideal. Wild at heart. While baby coatis might seem cuddly and playful, they mature into strong, independent animals with powerful instincts. Their wild temperament makes them difficult to train, and attempting to handle them too much can lead to bites or scratches. Owning a coati requires respecting their wild nature, which often means sacrificing physical affection and interaction. Lifelong commitment. Coatis can live up to 14 years in captivity. That's a long time. Before bringing one home, consider if you can provide for their specialized needs for their entire life. The initial cuteness can fade, but their needs and wild instincts remain. Responsible pet ownership means thinking long-term, and for coatis, a local commitment in a domestic setting can be challenging. Surprise singers. Coatis might look adorable, but don't be fooled by their bandit masks. These vocal creatures have a surprising repertoire of sounds they use to communicate with each other. While some vocalizations are short and sweet, others can be loud and persistent, especially during morning and evening hours. Living with a coati means getting used to their unique form of conversation, which might not always be welcome in a residential neighborhood. Imagine waking up to a chorus of barks, growls, and clicks. That's the charming alarm clock you might get with a pet coati. Beyond the noise, understanding Cody communication is crucial. A growl doesn't always mean aggression. It could be a sign of fear or frustration. Learning to interpret their vocalizations takes time and patience, and even then, Deciphering their chattering might feel like cracking a secret code. Hold on a minute. Before you get swept away by those cute coati videos, 
there are some legal hurdles to jump over. These fascinating creatures are considered exotic pets, and depending on where you live, owning one might be against the law or come with a whole stack of rules. Think of it like adopting a tiny mischievous raccoon with a super sniffer. In some places, you might need special permits or licenses just to have a coty as a pet. Imagine explaining to your landlord why your apartment suddenly needs a coty proof renovation. The best thing to do? Research, research, research. Find out the legal requirements in your area before you even consider bringing a coty home. Owning any exotic pet is a big decision. It's not just about cuddles, although baby coties can be pretty darn cute. It's a financial commitment. Special food, spacious enclosures, and vet care can add up. It's a time commitment. Coitus are social creatures and need plenty of interaction and enrichment. And it's an emotional commitment. These are wild animals with wild instincts, so forget about training them to fetch or snuggle on the couch. So, before you jump into the world of Kowati ownership, make sure you understand the legal landscape and the responsibilities that come with caring for these amazing creatures. Remember, happy Kowatis are Kowatis who live in their natural habitat. And if you can't emulate that habitat, then maybe consider another exotic buddy. And that wraps up today's adventure in the mysterious and sometimes misunderstood Coatamundis. We hope our insights have shed some light on whether this raccoon relative is right for you or your household. Do you have any more exotic pets you'd like us to cover? Sound off below and let us know in the comment section. We'd love to hear about it. So stick around for our next installment and join us again for more exciting discoveries right here at Legalized Exotic Pets. Until next time.